activity 4 to identify a diode led a resistor and ic that means integrated circuit a resistor and a capacitor from a mixed collection of such items so these are all the different electrical components used in our any given domestic circuit so that uh, in the activity in this activity the teacher will provide the mixture of all the components the students has to identify this is a resistor this is a uh, <coughs> transistor this is a led and like this okay so first we will see one by one diode so the diode means you can see that the semiconductor diodes pn junction diode the diode is in black color so diode is in black color so this is a diode so i hope that so this is a diode another diode is here so this is a another diode to these two are pn junction diodes these two are black color is a pn junction diode there is a line given that is a p type and without line is a n type okay then there is a another uh, diode is there that diode is a Gina diode. So this is the Gina diode with a black color line with a glass covering. So this is a Gina diode. So these three are diodes. These two are PN junction semiconductor diodes. This is a Gina diode that is also a semiconductor diode. So PN, PN diode will work on a forward bias and the Gina diode works in the reverse bias. Gina diode used for the voltage regulators. PN junction diodes are already we are seeing that. Then, next one is, what is a diode? LED. So, the LED bulb easily we can hide it. Often we are seen in the home itself, this is a LED bulb. So, this is a LED. So, light emitting diode. The external will ask the question, what is LED? So, LED means light emitting diode. We have to say that. Okay. Then, next one transistor so the transistor means this is a transistor so the transistor this is the transistor okay so the transistor there is a two transistors are given then so diode led transistor and the integrated circuit chip so this is a chip okay this is the chip so the chip we are identified that is the integrated circuit ic circuit then a resistor a resistor we are already seen that all the things which have a color code is a resistor these are all the resistors given in this activity more resistors are given by your physics teacher so in order to make you to clear idea so he, they will give them more components don't confuse so what are all the components you have to identify so then you have to see one by one and identify all the components individually so these are all the resistors color code resistors these are all colors so from the given mixed components i will separate that we are separate the resistors then diodes, there are the two types of diodes, PN diodes and the Gina diode. Then LED, so LED is a two pieces given, so the LED is a two. Then uh, again we have a Gina diode, is a two piece of Gina diodes. Okay, then it is, this is a transistor, then this is a chip. Okay, then what all the things are remaining? Capacitor. So this is the capacitor, this is the capacitor. Again, I will give the extra one component. This is called as LDR. LDR means light detecting, <coughs> light dependent resistor. Light dependent resistor means when the light intensity is increases, when the light falls on this uh, resistor, the intensity increases means the resistance will be decreases. This is the LDR. This is a LDR circuit. In this circuit, the chip is given. LDR is given. There is a color code resistor is given. Connecting wires is given. This is a capacitor. This is also capacitor. The capacitor may be like this. We can also call it, this is a condenser. 
So dear students, very simple. Identification is not at all. The teacher will ask that how you identify this is a resistor. There is a color code is given, sir. How you identify this is a diode? The diode is in black color. There is a line given. How you differentiate the PN junction diode and the Jena diode? The Jena diode will be in the glass piece, which is small, smaller than that of the PN diode. Then uh, LED by seeing itself, it is like a bulb, sir. So it is a LED. Bulb that is a light emitting diode. This is a transistor and the chip, then capacitor and the LDR. So in identification, in the observation part, you have to say that the number of legs and the device. If there is a two legs, means that may be a capacitor, diode, and the resistor. Three legs means only one component transistor, and more than three legs means IC. I will say that two legs means capacitor so even the capacitor itself you can identify here they are given the microfarad this is a 100 microfarad this is 100 microfarad farad is a SI unit of resistance so this is a capacitor so the capacitor has a two legs capacitor has two legs the resistor also having the two legs on either side diodes also having the two legs on either side led is also having the two legs on either side so light emitting diode or PN junction diode or Gina diode, all the diodes has a two resi legs. Resistors has two legs. Capacitors also having two legs. So you have to say that it is these are all by the legs itself we can identify these are all the components. Then transistor having the three legs. This is an NPN transistor. Transistor has three legs. Then chip means IC chip having more than three legs. One, two, three, four. Here it is. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight legs are there. This is a IC chip integrated circuit. Then LDR is also having a two legs. So I will give this LDR component extra. That is not included in our uh, practical activity. Even though I will give this extra component to you. So it is easy to identify the diode, LED, transistor, IC and the resistor with and also the capacitor with uni unique identification. Then the possible current flow. What are the possible current flows? The unidirectional emits no light and the, unidire the diode will be a unidirection. The current will be flowing in the unidirection and will be. Okay. So the LED will emit the light. This PN junction diode never emit the light. Then the resistors has both the steady currents. So both the direction it will be current flow will be possible. Initially in capacitor the current will be high and it will be charging means increases and discharging means decreases. So these are all the activities. These are all the things. So activity 4 is very simple students. They are giving the mixture components all the components together just to identify this is a capacitor, resistor, LDR. Uh, diode, PN junction, Gina diode, LED diode, transistor, chip, even in this chip itself there is LDR is given. So if you identify these things means your activity is over. The teacher may ask that how you identify this is a capacitor means microfarad is given sir. How you identify this is a resistor means color code is given. So PN junction diode color will be like this black in color. Gina diode will be like this. This is a LED bulb by seeing itself we can say that. If there is a three legs means that is a transistor. Then the LDR also we can easily identify. Okay. Dear students activity 4 is very easy. So no need to do more things just to identify and explain the each and every components working and the, all the importance and the functions to the external very clearly.